Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing, Scorpio? This is Positive Thoughts of Energy. This is your late night energy reading. Who's up with me? I know it's late. Some of you can't sleep. Some of you are at work. I want to say I love you guys. Thank you so much for your beautiful, beautiful, kind words, your generosity. I want to say thank you for your like and your sharing, Scorpio. Spirit guys led me to do a reading on you tonight, okay? So Spirit guys, Divine Universe, I ask you to come into this reading. Give me clarity, understanding. Most of all, <clears throat> I ask for your protection. So let's see how you're feeling, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios, on this late night energy reading, okay? Thank you, Spirit Guys. Mm, stop is the first card. Mm, anger is the second card. Some of you are angry. Spirit Guys are saying stop. Stop arguing. Stop. Stop. Stop trying to prove your point. Stop. Stop trying to get this person maybe to see you. Stop. Spirit God says stop. Stop trying to make this person believe you. Stop. Stop with the argument. Arguing. It's not worth it. Spirit God is saying. Yeah. You're tired of going with the flow. You're tired of trying to, I feel like you're ready to move on. You're tired of letting this person just keep doing you the way they're doing you. You're ready to move forward. You're tired of this person bringing it, trying to, you know, you're tired of this person, tell me more spirit, guys. Yeah, you're doing some reflection. You're looking back. You're tired of how this person treats you, how this person talks to you. You're tired. You're tired of just sitting there allowing this. You shouldn't allow that in the first place. <clears throat> hunger. It's like you just really, hunger is clarifying the anger card. It's like you're really trying to get this person to see you. I don't know who you are. You're trying to get this person to see the good in you. And Spirit God says, stop doing that. This person is not going to see you because this person don't want to see you do good. This person don't want to see you elevate. This person don't want to see you. Okay. This person don't want to see how loving and caring because they don't want to see you. They don't want you. A person that wants you will see you. I feel like you're just trying your best. To make this work, to make this right, to make this work out for this person to see. Stop proving your, stop trying to think that you got to prove yourself to somebody. I don't know who you are. But Spirit God says, stop trying to prove something to somebody. The right person will see you. This person isn't the one. I see it's a lot of arguing all the time. That you're trying to get this person to see, see who you are. Listen to me, sweetie, sir. She or he don't see you because you're not, you're not for them. And you, you are too good for them anyway. That's why they don't see you. Because you're, you're on a whole total different level. So that's why they don't see you. You're also protected. You're frustrated. And you reject it. So some of you may be feeling that. Um, no matter what you did, you intuitively are very strong, but you're also in a dark space. Okay. Um, so what this is telling me, um, you have no success at this either. What this is telling me, Scorpio, is that no matter how you tried to get this person to see you and you were so frustrated that it just wouldn't fit, but you were protected from this person. This person rejected you, but you were protected. It was the reason why spirit guides allowed this person to reject you. That they didn't, they, they, that he or she didn't want to see you. That they didn't see you. And so they rejected you because you, you're feeling like, but why? I'm this, I'm that. Why can't he or she see me? Because you're not for them. You're not for him. And it's okay. It's okay. You're not for him. 
because you are better. You're, you're, you, you are, you're elevated from a whole total different vibration. You are protected from this person. Yes, you're angry. You're frustrated because this person could not see you because they didn't have the eyes to see you, baby. They couldn't ha see the, they didn't have the eyes to see you. Do you understand what I'm telling you? Oh, don't cry. Don't cry, sweetie. It is, let me tell you something. It is their fault. It's his fault. It's her fault. They didn't have the eyes to see you, Scorpio. You understand? So you, you're frustrated, you're angry, some of you are crying because this person rejected you, they didn't want you, and you tried your best to, to, to prove to this person that it's me, it's me, it's me. Why you don't see me? Why you don't love me? Excuse me. The way I love you. Why can't you see me? Because they don't have the eyes to. They can't see you. Well, what do you mean by them as positive thoughts and energy? They can't see you because they're asleep. They have not awakened. That's what I mean. Anytime that you have to continue to try to prove yourself to someone, to see who you are, to see your value, when you're trying to, you don't have to do that for the right person. And so they rejected you because they couldn't see you. They're blind. They're not awakened. They're still asleep. I need to try to get this to you in a metaphorically way so that you can see what I'm talking about. So that you can envision in your mind what I'm saying to you. This person didn't have the eyes to see you. And yes, it did. It frustrated you because they rejected you. Yes, they do. Yes, it did. Absolutely. But why? Why couldn't they? Because they couldn't see themselves. Do you understand what I'm saying? They can't see you because they can't see themselves. They can't see the forest for the trees. You understand what I'm trying to tell you, Scorpio? They couldn't see you. That's why. They couldn't see themselves. See, you were very intuitive. Very intuitive. You're a high priestess I'm talking to. Or very high vibration. Okay? Very, very in tune with yourself. You understand? You was trying to get this person to see who you were. You were coming, you came into this person's life to try to help this person to see what is, what is visible to them. But they couldn't see you because they couldn't see themselves. And so you had no success at this. But just know that you were protected from this person. I feel the energy that you were in love with this person. You love this person. You wanted to per this person to see who you was, but they just didn't want to see. And it always came with an argument. It always came with an argument. And I feel like a lot of you have already been through this. So that's why you reflect them back. And sometimes in the back of your man, in back of your mind, you wonder why this person did not accept you for who you were. That's because they didn't. Their eyes wasn't open because they could not see you. They did not want to see you. That means that they didn't want to wake up. You're going to encounter a lot of people. You encounter people, uh, connections that people just don't want to wake up. You can't focus on trying to wake up people. I'm talking to some type of spiritual chosen one, light worker, whoever you are. You cannot wake up everybody. The ones that don't wake up, do not waste your energy on them. You have to keep going and you have to wake up the ones that want to wake up and pull them out of the matrix into a better way of living consciousnessly. So you were protected by this person because, okay, if you continue to force somebody to see you, they're going to pretend to see you, but then they're going to end up hurting you worse than what you are uh, not expecting. So that's where this protection comes in at, that you are divinely protected from this person. Yes, it frustrated you because you tried to make it fit. You tried to make it work. See, it frustrated you. You wanted it to work so bad because you really, really liked this person a whole lot. But they wasn't for you because they couldn't see you. What you were saying to them, how you were talking to this person was scribble scrabble. It was foreign language because they were not awakened. 
You understand? Do you get what I'm saying now? So rejection was for your what? Protection. Absolutely. You can't beat a a horse over the head. You sure can't lead them. You can lead them, lead, lead them to the water, but you can't make them drink it. You understand? That's okay, sweetie. I want you to reflect, and you're reflecting right now. But reflect the reason why you were rejected. It wasn't because of you. I need you to build that in your conscious mind and your subconscious mind that it was not you. They couldn't see you because they were asleep. They couldn't even see themselves. Because if they saw themselves, they would see you and they would make a change. Because you are definitely an example of what high vibration, high intuition, high inner knowing is. So I feel like you get you left. Okay, this dark space, this person was in a very dark energy. And some people, you just can't make them change. Okay, you can't. Spirit guys, tell me more. Yeah, this person didn't want, they didn't want to be in a stable commitment. You got the king of wands in the reverse. They didn't want it. They didn't want to be. They were just needy. They wanted what they wanted. The queen of wands, the, the king of wands, the third party situation, the low self-esteem. Okay. This person, <clears throat> anger problems. Okay. This person, you have the king and the queen of wands in the reverse. Not only were they did not want a stability, but this person did was needy. They wanted what they wanted. Okay, they wanted to party. They were obsessed with drinking, hanging with the friends, partying, doing all that. They also suffered a lot of low self-esteem, okay? And also anger man management problems. Do you do you realize all of this wrapped into one? And spirit guides would have took his God would have took his hands off of you and allowed you to be with this person. Do you realize the the the, the, the destructiveness that would have occurred in this connection? I need you to sit here and I need you to think about it for a minute. Because after all, we are reflecting back on your life. But I want you to sit and I want you to think. This is the person that you used to deal with. That you was trying to get to see you. Anger problems. Low self-esteem. Partying, drinking. You know, obsessed with those things. Very needy. Needy. Wanted what they wanted. No stability was never going to settle with you, meaning they're going to cheat with somebody else and do whatever else that they wanted to do. Now you see why divine kept their hands and protected you from this person. They allowed this person to reject you because this person was not ready for you. You should be clapping. You should be doing a cha-cha slide. You should be jumping up and thanking God and crying out to God, divine universe. Thank you for protecting me from whom rejected me. That's what you need to be doing. Yeah, that part. And yes, you have overthought. You've been overthinking. Okay. Or oh, this person's overthinking about you. Uh, well, I've been thinking about you, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They want to come in and offer you something, but they have disappointed you. And I see you not take. You're like, no, I'm not taking that. Now they want to come in and reach you a cup, but they're not. They haven't changed. They just want your energy. They just want you back into their energy, so they can keep pulling you and pulling you till they're gonna pull you down. Fourteen, fourteen just came up on my screen. Until they pull you and suck the living life out of you. See, you were protected. Spirit guys, tell me more. Thank you. Yeah, it caused a lot of pain. Okay, a lot of stabbing in your back. And you trying to make this person see you? Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? You trying to get him to see you and he can't see himself? He don't see you. He don't see no value in you. Because he don't want to see you. He don't want to change. Yeah, selfish. 
don't want to change. Absolutely, baby. He wants your energy back because he's losing control of you. Okay? He's losing control of you. You want something true. A real cup is coming towards you, Scorpio. If it hasn't come towards you, it's on its way. A true cup. Someone's coming towards you that sees you in their future. This is someone coming towards you, uh, if you have not already met this person, that sees you. This is going to be a person that's awakened and that is awakened with you. Y'all are awakened together. This person couldn't see you because they were asleep. <laughs> yeah, justice is in your favor, baby. They're going through their karma right now because they didn't see you and they missed the opportunity to be in your life and they chose not to. They chose not to do the work. They chose not to do right. They chose not to do anything. They, choose, they chose not to see you. And so now justice in your favor. Someone's got, yeah, you've done a lot of healing since this person. There you go, AKA, if you know him, just showed up in your reading. Yeah, this person definitely did a lot of talking about you. But you have no more passion for this person. Yeah, you moved away from this. Yeah, this person wanted to come reach out to you, but they wish was not granted. They're going through a tower moment. They're going through their karma. Because with the high priestess, they was not willing to connect with themselves. They wasn't really willing to do the inner work. Okay? And you chose not to take a leap of faith with them anymore. Now they're stuck. They can't move because they juggled you. You can't make somebody see you. Okay? You can beat a horse over the head and try to make him drink that water. But if that horse don't want to drink that water, he ain't going to. Person only changes for the right person. The person only changes for who they think is right for them. The person only changes when they want to change. And it's okay if this person didn't see you as the one for them to change. It's all right. It's no, it's no, uh, nothing off your shoulder. Thank you for rejecting me. Thank you for not accepting my love I had for you. I want to say thank you because it, it, it showed me that you was not the one for me. And that's on everything. I'm Positive Thoughts and Energy, Scorpio. Until next time.